Where J. Armand Bombardier lived as a child in southeastern Quebec in the early 1900s, they didn't blow the roads during the snowy winters, so cars had to be put away in favor of horse-drawn sleighs. Bombardier started out learning mechanical engineering as a teen and came up with a crude, surface-skimming vehicle with a small propeller. At age 19, he began making gas-powered machines that would be the precursor to the modern snowmobile. While watching a traveling circus in 1930, George Neeson, a 16-year-old Iowa boy, thought that it would be really cool if performers could bounce back up in the air and continue their tricks. He, as a member of the University of Iowa's gymnastics team four years later, alongside his coach, perfected the fun contraption, which was later named trampoline, after the Spanish word for diving board. In 1922, an enterprising 18-year-old water sports enthusiast, Ralph Samuelson, came up with the idea of water skiing on Lake Pippin in Minnesota. After trying wooden barrel staves and actual snow skis for skis, he ended up with his own design and bindings made of leather. Samuelson is also credited with the first ski jump using a greased ramp. In 1642, a French wonderkin named Blaise Pascal designed the first counting machine at the age of 18. A device that will perform arithmetic operations without relying on human intelligence was created for his father, who happened to be a tax collector. Called the Pascaline, the machine relied on geared wheels and could add and subtract two numbers directly and multiply and divide by repetition. Louis Braille invented Braille, an alphabet using raised dots at the age of 15. Prior to that, each letter was raised and to read, one had to fill out each letter. The books were heavy and took a long time to read. Experimenting with different ways to read through touch, he expanded upon the tactile Exocriture Nocturne, a night reading military code that was designed for reading messages on the battlefield in the dark. The human body, at any given moment, produces energy equivalent to a 100-watt light bulb. In that sense, we're always wasting our energy. Energy that can be used to, well, power a light bulb. It's the line of thinking that led a 16-year-old to invent the first flashlight powered entirely by body heat. And Makuzinki's hollow flashlight isn't the only manual-powered light out there, but whereas other products generate energy while shaking or even hand-cranking, her award-winning prototype shines the moment you pick it up. Fifteen-year-old Jack Andreka discovered a near 100% accurate test for pancreatic cancer that diagnoses early enough to ensure that almost 100% chance of survival. Andreka's test, 400 times more sensitive, 168 times faster, and 26,000 times cheaper than today's, it can also be applied to ovarian and lung cancer. <laughs> 